what's going on hot shot game or uh, whatever you want to call it um yeah so today um so what it is i got some expedited freight um as you can see it don't take up nothing of my trailer just the middle i mean it looks uh big but just the middle um 700 pounds it's uh two truck hoods for a volvo um semi um this is an expedited freight um and so you know i target these type of loads now 700 pounds y'all would say well put something with it all the trailer space you have you can load it over the axles that is true but the rate that i am getting on this load i'm not putting nothing with it i'm not gonna bear no fuel uh, i'm going 753 miles to michigan um and yeah i'm gonna get about mm, 11 you know 10 11 to the gallon uh it's a little you know up and down going that way but uh yeah man expedited freight i'm not putting nothing with it i mean i could because it don't deliver till wednesday but you know 700 something miles i could have that delivered on tomorrow um but i wanted to show y'all something you know this crate is not worth a hill of bean um it's shaky um my straps see, i probably i probably will when i get down the road because this ain't gonna make it um i already broke as you can see i already broke this piece because coming over the top when i put pressure on it it uh broke but you see how flimsy that is that ain't gonna work for me um i'm gonna have to come up with something maybe I have to go over this part right here um with the straps and then i put one right here coming through the uh hole of the um of the hood um, and this a whole I didn't put too much pressure on it because it is plastic. I mean y'all I can move this with my hand um, So my strapping is ugly, but uh, I'm gonna do something different probably when I get about a hundred miles up the road Just depend how much it's gonna shake, but it's gonna it's gonna move This is you know flimsy. They do a terrible job with these crates um, so thing that I wanted to share was that It's strategy y'all um you know a strategy and you can't just get out here and just uh you know hope something happen you got to get out here and make something happen so you know every day that you you know you're in this business and you get up and you add it you know you have to have some type of strategy and plan on what you're going to do to make your money and what type of freight you're going to target um because if you just get out here wishing hoping you know that's how a lot of people go out of business you know, so y'all, y'all not just no truck drivers or hot shot drivers. You have to learn the business side of things, the business, the numbers, what it's taking you to do this load, how far it's going, what's the weight, how much fuel I'ma burn, what is gonna be my profit margin, how long will it take me to, to you know, um, get this this freight there, uh, the area that I'm going in, do they have freight in that area? All that stuff matter when you're negotiating, and you are getting freight, right? And so I hear a lot of, I'm not going to say dumb questions, um, but I see people ask a lot of, you know, simple questions and it's apparently they don't know uh, by the things that I read, you know, uh, in the different hot shot groups, you know, and so, you know, that's why I, I want to make content so I can, you know, help people out. But y'all, strategy, a plan and a strategy, plan and a strategy. You have to know, you know, what type of freight you're targeting, you know, where the money at. You have to study analytics, you know, where does my hot shot run? You know, what, what market is paying the best rates? All that stuff comes into play, whether you're a CDL or a non-CDL, you know, truck, you know, everybody can make it, you know. Um, and the problem that's going on is that you have a lot of people, whether they're CDL or non-CDL, you know, taking loads for a dollar fifty, dollar dollar forty a mile because y'all are forced to take it. And when I say forced, meaning that a lot of y'all are running dead areas, there's no freight there, so you take the first thing smoking, you know, coming out of there. Another thing, man, just because you have a good trailer, a good truck, that don't mean you gotta put 15, 16, 17, 80,000 pounds on it. I want the lightest load that's going the less miles that pay the most amount of money. That's my motto. That's my motto, y'all. That's my motto, and I don't tear up my equipment, you know. 
my drivers don't tear up my equipment, my owner operators don't tear up my equipment. You know, um, even on my dis, you know, on my dispatch side of things, you know, with my dispatch company, you know, I make sure that I give these guys advice so they, they don't tear up their equipment, you know, and they'd be looking to borrow money from me, which I don't mind helping people. That's why I got into the, you know, um, going on my own and stuff like that. 17 years of messing with trucks, you know, um, it don't matter what type of freight I get, you know, I, I know about it because I've been doing it all my life. I never just decide to get on here and just try to make content and don't know what I'm talking about. I've been driving trucks since I was 18 years old. I'm 37 years old. Right? So, uh, I mean, it's like you have to learn the business. You have to learn the business. Um, you're not just a truck driver. If you don't learn the business, you know, um, your business is going to suffer, then you're going to end up going out of business, right? You know, so, um, man, you know, it's, it's out here. This is America. Freight is everywhere. You know, you just have to strategize, get your plan together, you know. Um, you know, it's, you know one, one thing about this business, you can't rely on, on nobody. You have to make your own lane, your own market in this business. Nobody gonna give you nothing. You know, you can get on there, try to find loads, this, that, and the other, but you know, uh, you have to learn the business and, and make your own way. That's all I can say, you know? And um, I get more into that, you know, on my YouTube page and stuff like that, you know, with dealing with things like this. Cause I, you know, in, in these groups, you can't promote or, you know, do things to try to uh, get people to fight, whatever. But you know, man, I, a lot of people suffer because they don't know. They don't know how to run. They don't know what areas is good. I seen a guy say he was picking up a load out of New Mexico going to Florida. He picking up in a dead area and delivering in a dead area. Now, I'm not saying you can't get freight in those areas, but the freight is cheap. It's not that much freight that's produced out of New Mexico. Florida, there is freight that is produced, but it's mostly inner city freight. They don't have a lot of good loads coming out of Florida um, paying good rates so when, if i go to florida no one thing is gonna pay me good and when i'm coming out of there i'm gonna get me some cars i'm not even trying to look for no friend i'm gonna get me two cars or one semi you know that's even if i can get at least two dollar a mile or one eighty a mile on that semi to come out of there you know weighing ten thousand pounds just to frame or something like that i'm gonna take it and i'm gonna run with it to get to another area you know but but no if i go to florida it paid me a big banger you know, and and I could afford to do that, but it's about planning and strategizing, y'all. And I, a lot of the comments that I, you know, see, and a lot of questions that I see asked, is based upon people that don't know, and that's okay. That's okay. Don't pay attention to the negative comments. You know, learn. You can learn from people like me. Uh, other people that have a genuine heart. Some people don't care. You know, they just on there to, you know, just to. Uh, degrade people and make stupid comments and that's fine let them do their thing you know but if you really try to make it in this business i'm telling you you can make it you can make it but you have to have a plan and a strategy you got to know where to run you have to know where the freight is for your truck you know what i mean you got to know the different type of freights you got to know how to deal with the brokers and know uh when you could add that extra 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 you know increase on, on on the rate that they're trying to give you based upon the freight and based upon where it's going and based upon the situation this is expedited now it ain't nothing that i did y'all it just fell like that but when i found out you know when he told me where he was picking up at and stuff like that and giving me the dimensions and telling me he wanted dedicated okay you want it dedicated you're gonna pay a dedicated rate i don't care if it's two pounds you know and so dedicated meaning you don't want me to put nothing on my trailer you know, but guess what? If you pay me right, I ain't gonna put nothing on my trailer. I'm not gonna add nothing extra on the weight to burn more fuel. This is light. I can move this by hand. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's about planning and strategizing, y'all. Till next time. Love y'all.